A newly published paper earlier this month shows and effectively confirms that the giant whale known as Peru Satis was not the largest animal to ever exist. Welcome back to Paleopedia, and if you missed it, last summer I posted this video discussing the discovery of a giant prehistoric whale given the name Perusatus Colossus. Perusatus lived around 40 million years ago in what is now modern day Peru, and was a member of the Bacillosaurid group of whales, one of the last of the Archaeocetes, or ancient whale groups. Bacillosaurids were effectively one of the first groups of whales to live a 100% obligate aquatic lifestyle in whale evolution, whereas before they were living a more semi-terrestrial, semi-aquatic lifestyle. While certainly big, they were the largest animals to exist up until that point since the extinction of the dinosaurs 20 million years earlier, Bacillosaurids were still generally, as far as whales go, pretty small. The largest of them, Bacillosaurus itself, measured around 50 to 60 feet in length, but only weighed about six or seven tons, so about the size of your modern day minke whale. That all changed with the discovery of Peru Satis. It was certainly one of the longest Bacillosaurids ever found, measuring around 50 to 60 feet in length, but what was unique about it was its skeletal structure. What made the bones unique is the high degree of pachyosteosclerosis, which means they were really thick and really dense, similar to uh, Cyrenians, dugongs, and manatees. Because of these really thick and dense bones, the initial size estimates for this whale were anywhere between 85 and 340 tons in weight, almost twice the weight of the average blue whale today. The average estimated weight was 180 tons, so despite the fact that Perusatis was only about half the length of a blue whale, it was theorized to have been about the same weight, so just an absolutely beefy tank of a whale. Now while this was definitely a unique discovery and findings for the initial review and publication of this new species, a lot of people at the time, myself included, speculated that the weight probably wasn't accurate. And with the release of this new study, it appears as though we were correct. Perusatis was nowhere near as big as initially hypothesized. So the initial first published estimates for the weight of Perusatis was heavily based around the idea that Perusatis was similar in biology to modern day manatees and dugongs. By using Cyrenians as a comparison, the mean weight for Perusatis was given to be about 85 tons, with a skeletal weight to body weight ratio being given up to 340 tons for the high estimates. In other words, the initial estimates were assuming that Perusatis was very much like manatees and dugongs today in terms of skeletal weight compared to the total body weight ratio. The new analysis by paleontologists Nicholas Pienson and Ryosuke Botani from the University of California used a more comparative approach to getting their size estimates. The doctors state that if Perusatis is only half the length of a blue whale, then it needed to be about three 3.375 times denser in order to be heavier, which for vertebrates is a physical impossibility. Their whole body density ranges from 0.75 to 1.2, so it was a physical impossibility for it to be heavier than a blue whale due to its overall body size. So instead of comparing Peru Satis to manatees and dugongs today, Pienson and Motani compared Peru Satis to all living large whales today. Using this new comparison alongside 3D reconstruction of both a blue whale and Perusatis, the researchers found that Perusatis more likely weighed around 60 to 70 tons, or about the weight of your average sperm whale today. In my opinion, this makes a lot more sense for whales at the time, because Perusatis is kind of an outlier for Bacillosaurids in general. The oceans during the time of the Bacillosaurids was a whole different ecosystem than they are today. They weren't nearly as bioproductive, although they were quickly becoming bioproductive like modern day oceans are now, but the oceans were overall warmer, which means that whales didn't need as much blubber to stay warm, so they weren't really getting that big. And Bacillosaurids were a much different group of whales on a biological level than modern whales today. They were more predatory whales that fed on larger animals, including sharks and even other whales, rather than filter feeding on big schools of krill and fish like modern whales today. 
And outside of Peru Sadis, the largest Basilosaurids were only getting up to maybe 10 tons in weight. So they overall were not a heavy set, large group of whales, with the exception of Peru Sadis. And while these new findings are getting a little bit of pushback from the original publishers of Peru Sadis, along with a couple other people, this size range of 60 to 70 tons seems far more likely based on the environment that Peru Sadis would have lived in. Not only that, if this animal did get to 340 tons, it would have been too heavy to get to the surface and likely would have been restricted to incredibly shallow environments where there certainly wasn't nearly enough food to support such a large animal. But even with the new size of estimates, Peru Sadis is a massive animal, again, far exceeding the size of the next largest known Basilosaurids by five or six times the weight. While I'm of the personal mindset that this new estimated weight for Peru Sadis is by far the more accurate one, there is still a lot of studying of Peru Sadis that needs to be done to really start to hone in just how big this ancient whale was.